it out. What's going on? Well, I'm here to today to tell my dad that I hooked up with his wife. Oh. That sounds like a Jerry Springer show. <laughs> Now, okay, well, obvious question, why would you do that? What happened? Um, <clears throat> let me bring it back. They are Hurricane Harvey survivors. Oh, wow. Their Sorry. house, their cars, all underwater, you know. They, yeah. And I was, I was seeing it on TV, and I'm thinking, wow, it's, my dad's horrible. down there. Yeah, yeah. So, and I wanted to bring them back up north with me. And you thought this me. was the way to do it? Yeah, before I do it, I just want to have, you know, a clean slate. Oh, oh, Let I see. The... So this took place prior to the hurricane. Yes. So, um, okay. It was about a month ago. Yeah. And he came back um, up north for some business, and he brought her with him. Yes. And um, my typical dad is I've, he's been in and out of my life, okay. you know, since I was born, and I just think he tried to keep me at arm's length. Like, he oh. never really got deep or really... You wanted a closer relationship yes, with him. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And they came up there for some business, and just like my typical dad, I went to the hotel to go visit him, and he was gone, like, five minutes later. Boom. Whenever, went to his friends, or whatever they went to go do. And, you know, I really got... So oh, his my, wife was there yeah. just alone, right? So I, went, I, t I was talking to her about it, you yeah. know, and try to see how me and my dad can better our relationship. And this was the way to do it. Yeah, and <laughs> like his wife, you know, she's a really pretty woman. Oh, you yeah. know, she's she's hot. And as I'm talking to her, she kind of put her arm on my shoulder. And oh. she was like rubbing my back, giving oh. me these looks. So And you're saying this is not your typical stepmom. Yeah. So I said <laughs> I said for, I said forget it. So I went in and gave her a kiss and then we hooked up. Was there any time during that that you were thinking, well, what am I doing? This is, this is not going to have a good ending. No, not really. <laughs> I mean, she's hot, so, you know. Oh, well, yeah, that, that overwhelms any other consideration. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, okay, so you had sex with his wife. Now you're finished. Now what? What did you think? What did you say? What, was it awkward? I didn't say nothing. I, I mean... I don't want to do that anymore, but I just try to, you know, just keep it in the back of my head, back of my mind. Yeah. But now, like I said, since I want them to come back up north with me and she's going to be around, I don't want that anima animosity and I just, I just don't want, you know, to be any tension in between. So I feel like I just have to confess and just let them know. You, you want to you know, wipe the slate clean with that. All right. And you hope he can forgive you because you want... Yeah, that like, everyone to get along. Yeah, because like I really wanted a, a father-son relationship with him. Everybody yeah. thinks we're brothers. Like if we go out and meet somebody for the first time, they'd be like, "Is that your big brother?" I'm like, "No, that's my dad." They're like, "What? That's your dad?" Yeah. I was like, "Yeah," but I really want to connect with him as a father and son. Yeah. You know, something like that. Okay. All right. Well, Terrence is your dad, and he's watching, so he now knows. Here's your dad. What you mean, what the hell? Why? You don't even pay attention to her. You don't ever pay attention to nobody. You always be for yourself. Do you know what we've been through? Yeah, I know you what y'all been through. You just know what we've been through. It's all on TV, yeah. Man, <laughs> man, I raised you, man. Yeah, partially, barely. This is how you repay me? You, you have sex with my wife? I mean, I had to do what I had to do, man. I had to get, find some way to catch your attention. Man, listen, bro. I raised you. I did everything Your I could. Did. For you you man. was all somewhere in another part of the country trying to make music and do whatever you want to do. You ain't really care That's about right. me, dude. You're 23 years old. You acting like a spoiled brat, man. You just a oh. dad. That's man, shut up, man. You just shut up. Oh. I'm grown now. I ain't scared of you no more. <laughs> All we went through. Yeah, I ain't never, you never got to throw the ball around with me. You never taught me how to fight. I had to learn all that from the streets by myself. I don't know who been telling you this stuff, but evidently they're lying to you. I was always there for you, man. Ain't nobody gotta tell me. I don't remember that. 
I have a good memory, and you just, we was always in and out of my life. You was always somewhere just doing whatever you want to do. You're just a little spoiled brat. You just man. a that. Shut up. You shut up, dude. What's up? You shut up. I'm grown now. I ain't got to hold my tongue no more. Well, you're grown. Mm -hmm. You're grown. You're 23 years old. Yep. I had you at a young age, but I did everything I could for you, man. Everything. OK. Like just throwing me off to your parents and whatever, whatever, while you go do your own thing? You just threw me off to your parents. I brought you on the show because I want us to have a better relationship. I want you to forgive me in some way, if you can. Because it wasn't right at the end of the day. But at that time, I wasn't caring because, because of how you used to do me, man. Just know. like when I got there. As soon as I got there, you just went off with your friends to go do whatever you want to do and left me there with your wife. Let's assume that what, he's, that what he did was wrong. Okay, no one's gonna say it was the right thing that he did, clearly. But that aside for a moment, does he have a point that maybe you have been neglecting him? At least he was thinking he was neglected and you didn't reach out and be a dad to him. Jerry, I had him at a young age. Yeah. I'm a musician, I was on the road, so I probably wasn't there for him every day like that, so he sure. does have a point. Okay. He does have a point. And you want him to be your dad? Of course. Of course. And you also realize that that's a real bad way to get started. Yeah. I realize. Are you surprised? Are you surprised that your wife would? Jerry, of course. I mean, yeah. she has sex with my son, wouldn't you? I mean, yeah. Have sex with your son? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> All right, here she is. Here's Dania. Happened. This was a month ago. We've, we've been through everything. We went Don't through Hurricane me. Harvey, and we lost our home, our cars underwater. I just feel bad about the whole situation. So okay. then you go and we have lost, sex with my son? We lost everything, and I do not want to lose you. Well, I don't know about that. I got to think about that. I love you, and I want a relationship with my son, but I don't know, man. I don't want to lose you, and I don't want you and your son's relationship to be messed up because of this. I don't when, know. It, when it happened, what were you, I mean, what were you thinking? Well, I mean, I wasn't thinking at the time. So, you know, we were just uh, left alone at the hotel after we, after you left. And you always dealing with music and social media, so. That's my job. I understand that's your job, but at the same time, you still have to show me attention. You show more attention to Facebook than you do her. Shut up! You shut up. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. So we, it, we just hooked up and it happened and I do feel so bad about the situation. Yeah. I don't know. You shouldn't have did this. I understand. I understand that you're mad, but I do love you. This is, I do treasure this. I got this tattooed on me because this is our wedding date. Aww. Evidently, it doesn't mean nothing to you. It does. You two going to stay together? Yeah, Jerry, we, our anniversary's on the 14th. Aww. And I love her, so we're going to try to work it out, man. And your son? Can you forgive me? Now, I'm sorry, we, Dad. We just went through Hurricane Harvey, and you opened your house up for us to go live. How do I supposed to go live with you and thinking in my head, you just That's what I wanted to tell you. So it'd be no animosity. 
and you know you wouldn't have to be having that in your brain. It's not like that no more. It's not gonna happen. I just want to keep it real with you so we can better our relationship as a father and son. Jerry, I do want a relationship with my son, so yes. hopefully we can get over this. You're a good man. We'll be back. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.